We're now going to look at creating a calculator as an example application. And you can see here, this is basically how things work. Um, we have a main calculator class, which we instantiate, and I've called this C. What we can then do is rather than using methods like add or subtract, divide, multiply, we're actually creating, um, we're actually instantiating what we want to do so a new adder and this is a separate class in itself as you can see here and what we're then doing once we've set the operation e.g adding dividing subtracting and you could store these up here in variables if you wanted what we're then doing is we're using the calculate method passing in an unlimited amount of numbers and then we are using get result to output the result to us. So in this case, we're doing 20 and 30 with a new adder, which is 50, uh, divided by two, which is 25, um, uh, subtracting five, which is 20, and then multiplying by five, which gives us 100. And if we look at the result in the browser, you can see that we get 100. So we'll be creating this, learning uh, a few of the things that we've learned so far. So let's go ahead and start writing this out from scratch. So the first thing that we want to create is a calculator class itself. So I have an empty folder here inside of the main directory called classes. Let's create a new file in here and we will call this calculator.php. So let's define this class here. And we need to know what we're storing here. In my case, I want to store uh, two properties. One is result and one is the current operation because what we're going to be doing is using that set operation method that we saw on the index page to actually set which operation we want. So let's store what we want to in properties here. One is going to be result. So this is going to store the result as it goes on. So remember, we're only instantiating the calculator class once and we're sort of appending, if you like, or uh, keeping a track record of the result in this result. So we can do as many operations as we want. So we also want to store the operation. And the operation is going to be set using the set operation method. So let's quickly create that now. Now this one's a little bit more tricky because uh, we want to pass in an operation here. And we also want to obviously set this operation. Now this operation is going to be an object an instantiated object, a new adder, a new subtractor, a new divider, or a new multi multiplier. So we can set this within here. So this operation equals operation. So we're assigning this passed into that operation up here. But we need to type hint this. Now, we can't really type hint it because, remember on index when uh, a moment ago, we saw that we can pass in a new adder or new multiplier, etc. So we can't say multiplier because that then would mean that we'd have to have multiple classes to type in each one. What we're going to do is we're going to code this to an interface and we're going to call this operator interface um, because each of the operators needs to implement one method and that's run and that gives in a number and then it gives in the current result so it can do something with it. So let's not try and make this too complicated but we want to do this in the best way as possible and the easiest way that we can extend this. So let's start to create perhaps an adder, it's simple enough. So I'm going to call this adder. So the purpose of this class is just to add numbers. We're separating the purpose of each class here. So I'm going to call this adder.php. Obviously the calculator you know, does have a purpose to add and subtract, but it doesn't. it's not necessarily its sole purpose. So we, we pass this off to our adder. Now inside of the adder we're going to have a function called run and this is the only other method called run. This is the only method that we're going to have. And this is going to take a number and the current result so we can return the result plus the number. So let's say we started at zero which makes sense. Uh, when we instantiate the calculator and we add a number we're adding to zero. We're, we're adding on to the number zero. So the current result would be zero, which is this here. So before we go any further inside of the index uh, page, let's just start to require in everything that we need. So let's require in classes calculator.php and let's also require in adder. 
And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a new class and we'll do maybe a subtractor just so we can then start to write out this interface. So subtractor.php and this is going to be a class called subtractor. Cool, so we obviously want our run method in here and that's going to take in, remember, a number that we're subtracting and a result. So this time what we're going to get is we'll get to return result, this time minus the number. So for example, we use the adder to add 10, maybe. That will give us 0 add 10, which is 10. And then we'll maybe subtract 5. 10 minus 5 will be 5. So let's start to put this all together, as I said. We'll go ahead and require in the subtractor. And now we'll look at the interface. The interface is important, as I mentioned, because what we want to do here is type hint this. And we can type hint to an interface. So let's create a new class in here. And we will call this operator interface. So let's say interface operator interface. And this needs to, um, any class that uses this interface needs to implement a run method. And that run method needs to have a number and a result, as we've seen inside of the adder and the subtractor. So let's now implement this operator interface. And we'll do the same for the subtractor. So that implements the operator interface. And we'll do this for the multiplication and the division as well. So we've now got this. Uh, let's just check that everything's working. We'll instantiate, uh, well, the first thing to probably do is require in the interface. So classes operator interface. So let's create or instantiate a new calculator. We don't need any uh, brackets there because we're not passing anything into it. And we will say maybe set operation. So let's say C set operation. I think it's operation. Yeah. And we will create a new adder in there. So let's just check that this works first of all. Okay, it looks like everything's working. So if we inside of here just do a var dump on the operator that's passed in or the operation that's passed in, we should see an instance of adder. Perfect. So in this case, then, we now want to type hint to operator interface. Because each of these extend uh, or implement the operator interface, we can say operator interface there. So now what's going to happen is that works. But if we pass in maybe add, maybe if the developer that's using this code gets confused and thinks it's a string. Now what's going to happen if they do something like this is when we refresh, it says must implement the interface operator interface. And then a quick look through the documents or the code, you'll see, ah, oh, okay, I need to implement, um, I need to use this uh, as a uh, as an adder or subtractor. So let's say new adder here. So let's try and actually um, add something to nothing, which is in this case is going to be fairly straightforward. So what we want to do is we want to say calculate. I mean, this can be called anything you want. Calculate is probably not the best uh, method name, but I'm going to say I want to calculate 10 and 50. So I want to add 10 and then I want to add 50. So how are we going to deal with this? Do we have to say something like number one, and so on. We don't need to do this. We can use func get args, which is a function in PHP that will basically return all the um, arguments passed through or parameters of whatever, whatever you want to call them through to a method or function. So let's do a quick print R on func get args just to see what this looks like. And let's do a refresh here. 
So you can see here that we've now got an array and we've got uh, the, in, uh, the first element uh, 10 and the second element 50. So we can loop through these and perform the operation. So all we need here is a for each loop. So I'm going to say for each func get args as number. You might want to do some additional checking here, maybe if there is actually anything within func get args. Um, but you know, you can add, add them in as you please and, and do whatever you want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the result. So I'm going to say this result. Remember the result that we're storing within the calculator object that's making use of these that are passed in. So how do we do this then? Well, we've stored the operator inside of this here. So we can access this with here. So let's say this operator. Now we know, or operation, isn't it? Now we know that each operation, so an adder, a subtractor, whatever, implements the run method. So all we need to do now is pass in the number, which is within this loop, and the current result, which we know it's this result up here. So let's quickly implement a get result method, which will return this result. So all we need to do here is say return this result, and that's it. So let's check this out. We refresh here, nothing happens, so we can assume that there's no errors. Back on the index page, let's now do an echo C get result. So let's check this out. We should get 60, and we do. So now we've done this, the beauty of this is that because we've already created the subtraction uh, functionality separate, we don't have to modify the calculator class at all because it's not dependent on um, the fact that it needs to implement some kind of subtraction method or something like that. So we can literally just copy and paste this and say new subtractor. So from 60, we'll maybe take 30. So here we should have 60 and then subtracting 30, we should just end up with 30. So there we are. So now if we want to implement a new um, operation, we can just create a new class here. So I'm going to call this um, multiplier. And remember, this needs to uh, implement the operator interface. And let's just save this quickly before we go any further. So it's multiplier.php. And we'll create our public method run. And this needs to take in a number and a result. So in this case, we know how to multiply. So all we need to do is return the result multiplied by the number that we pass in. And that's it. As long as I've not uh, done anything wrong, this should be fine. Uh, we obviously haven't included this. If you're using auto loading, um, this will be a lot easier. And we'll look at this next. So let's go ahead and implement or include rather our multiplier. And then let's just, uh, well, we'll type this out. So set operation, new multiplier. So remember, this is dependency injection. We're not instantiating this within the calculator itself. We're just injecting it in as a dependency. So we now we can say C calculate. Now let's maybe times this by five. And there we go, we get 150. So let's lastly look at creating our divider. Implements the operator interface. And you can see the benefit of this really because all we're doing is we're just creating new classes and including them in. We don't need to adjust the calculator itself. So we'll call this divider.php. We'll implement the method that's uh, written out in operator interface, and that's number and result. And as you expect, you do return result divided by the number we pass in. Let's include this in here. And let's do something here. So maybe we could divide this by two. Oops. 
there we go. So we get 75, perfect. So we know that that's correct. And that's it really. We've created uh, a few classes that all do their own thing. They're all responsible for one thing. We've created a calculator to handle this, passing in the operation as a dependency injection, calculating this using whatever arguments are passed through. So we could um, subtract 30 and then we could subtract 50. And that will give us an entirely different result altogether. And that's it really. And we've um, obviously implemented a get result method to grab the result from the calculator. And all of these different dependencies are written to an operator interface.